Yesterday, 12th of April, was the first class of my batch for CAT 24. We covered linear arrangement sets. This is one of the sets I discussed in the class. This video is to give you an idea of how a class discussion happens. If you are targeting CAT 24 and you like our way, then you can consider joining our, the course. This is the only course that I'll be doing for CAT 24. Tomorrow, 15th April is our first QA class. Now for you to make most of this video, it is necessary that you try this set on your own and give it a very decent attempt. Don't cursorily read it and uh, watch the video ahead. Yeah, it is only when you spend time, you uh, experience the difficulty of the set. Only then you can contrast it with what I'll be discussing and then see there is a very clear logical flow through which you can solve the set and it becomes very easy. So do try it. I'm assuming you're doing that. So eight friends ABCD sitting in a row. So linear arrangement, some of them facing north, some of them facing south. So the ones who face north, right? So I'll just put it this way. I point, I put a point on top. This is north. So for north, the right is going to be a usual right and the left one. But for someone who is going to face south, yeah, I'll put a dot on the below part. This is south. What's going to happen is we'll have to take the reverse of that. So the right and left is very difficult. So this is a usual right. This will become left for this guy and this will become right. Okay, so be very, very careful of the right and left when people are facing north and south. If you do not uh, um, watch out for it, then as they say that, Nadsavdani hati durghatna gati. You'll get it wrong, students. Yeah. So A is sitting two places away from D, two places away. We don't know which side from D. Both face the same direction. So some data is about position. So this is about position and uh, this is about direction. So also ki, this is about direction. Okay. Uh, you can't do much. You don't know where who is, but then as a block, Another very nice important part of solving sets is uh, you, you keep building blocks and then you just arrange the block. So this block here is going to be, it's either A or D, I don't know which one, one place away, the other D or A. Okay, so and I don't know any direction. So it's a block of three, right? So read the clues, quickly make a mental image. You may not need to write it down, but you should have it in your mind. C is to the immediate left. Now the immediate is a very good clue, right? Uh, but we don't know which direction C, G uh, is facing, right? So be careful about that left. Who, this who refers to G is to the again immediate right of H. So what we see is G and C are definitely in adjacent from the first and this is referring to G. G and H are also adjacent and if G and C are adjacent, G and H are adjacent, G is common to both. So what that simply means is that C and H are on either sides of G. There are only two adjacent places for one guy, right? And we have two different people. So that's a block, okay? So, so, so this is, you can make a little more sense out of this clue, right? So let's uh, understand this. So what this is, I don't know which side G is. So, but if G faces the north, if G faces the north, then C is to the immediate left. So obviously H has to be the other side. And we know G is to the right of H. So this direction is right, but this is left, the usual left. So why is it the right? Because H will be facing the other direction, okay? So this is starting with an assumption G is facing north. Or it could be G faces south. Now, if you do this very many times over, you'll realize the whole picture will get mirrored. But let me explain it again to you. If G faces south, then C is to the immediate left. Left will be to the usual right. So this is where C will be. Since they have to be adjacent, H will come here. And G is to the right of H. So H here, G is to the right. This is the usual right. So H is going to face north. If you see, these are exactly the, just turn it around. C, G, H, 
Start from the other side, C, G, A, G North, G South, H South, G North, right? So you could even have written it directly a little fast. So it's either going to be this or this block. And then always look back, always look back, C, G and H, is it, is there anyone common over there, A and D? No. So this is a different block, that's a different block. So if you start thinking that way, now I have already got a block of three, a block of three. You know, I'm very far more confident of cracking it now. Okay, so two more places are left. Let's have a look at it. If you have given it an honest attempt yourself, then you would realize that this is a critical, a tough clue to handle here. The number of people to the right of A, but we don't know which is the right of A, is one less than the number of people to the left of H. Okay, so, so this right, which is right, which is left, we do not know, one less, so you can't do much with this clue, but something what you should have done is, oh, this A is already a part of this group. Okay, and this H is a part of this group. So you should have realized that, you know, overall, look at the big picture. There's a group with A and D, there's a group with G, H and C, and that A and H, are tied together in some way or the other but I don't get a lot of sense there. E who is sitting at one end thankfully this is a fixed position kind of a thing but which end I do not know but still it is at one end sits to the immediate right of B. You could do something like this also but then this is an easy clue so don't worry too much about it and if you look at this D and G are facing the same direction B is facing opposite direction so there's only direction given here right so somewhere in my, in my haste or not haste actually in my focus of looking at the positions I somehow missed the direction so it would be better that I write and I see okay let me group the people into which directions they are facing. So there is a direction number one. I don't know north and south. Okay, which one? So uh, in fact, I did not see any clue which pointed to a specific direction that anyone is facing as in a north or a south. So I leave it as direction number one. And uh, the first clue said A and D face the same direction, whichever direction that is A and D. Okay. And then I see here that A and D was done, then G and H are opposite directions. I have already found that. Now I just need to make a note of it. Okay. But then uh, looking ahead, uh, A and H, E, I do not know. Okay. Here we come. D and G are in the same direction. So D and G. Okay. Given here. Okay. D and G. And the moment you see a G, you should realize that H will be in the other direction. And this clue itself I did not complete it. B is an other opposite to D and G. So B and H will be in the same direction. So I've got this. Okay, so now one major part, big part here is, pay attention, if you would have realized that A is a part of that group, H is a part of the other group, this is the clue that I did not interpret it. And if you notice this, A and H are in opposite directions. So what is the meaning of that? If A and H are in opposite directions, the right of A, I do not know which it is, right? The right of A and the left of H, both of them are the same, same side. So let's say this side, I'm not even talking about it as a right or left. If this is a right of A, this side will be the left of H. Because A and H are looking in the opposite direction. So the right and left becomes the same uh, side. And if it is the same side, now the number of people to one side of A is one less than the number of people to the same side of H. What that means is if or, or else if it's becoming too complex, assume always. So if A faces to the north, then the, uh, then the number of people to his right, this side, will be one less than the number of people on that same side of H. So A will be one less, H will be one more. So from that side, all these people and this one more, what that means is H is also going to be adjacent to A. 
and this is the side where we are talking about and if you got that point about that mirror image you could always reverse this and say if a was facing downwards then this right would have been this side the number of people so so remember here this is h a so going from the other side it is going to be a h or or uh, this the, when you mirror it it will become a h okay a down and h up we know a and h are opposite so this is the right of a how many people x to the left of h how many people x plus one that is a so either this or this one one and if you got that link i have got that link so this is also handled well enough now i have spent a lot of time here but still but still something is missing over here in the sense of i did not get a start so you know the sets are easy when you have any one obvious position or an absolute position given but here there's no absolute position given now i don't have to waste a lot of time i have a ghc i have an ad and i have an h and an a relation so i should directly start off here and i just start with this one end i don't know which end so start with one end assume if this is the end the left end assumption mark a thing if you want to mark this is an assumption that's my way of this is sitting at the left end assuming sits to the immediate right of b so b immediate means this so this because this is the end this is an end that you're talking so b has to be here and if this is the right of b uh, then i uh, well, this is usual left so b is looking down, uh, downwards or southwards sort of right and if i know that now this will help oh so i know the direction of b from b i can find the direction of a from a i can find the direction of h i also know a and h this as a group and i think so it should be very easy so if b is looking downwards a will look up so this is what i have right so this is what i have means okay a is a packet with uh, d so look at here a and d are a packet okay h is a packet with ghc and can this be inside it no can that be inside it no so they are two different so this this is that a d g a and d packet this is that g and h c packet there's no other way that can be there so these three and these three six so oh, and these are the two things so one two three four five six and seven eight so there's no other way except putting in one packet here of three people another packet here and how are you going to put it you're going to put it such that h and a come in this way a has to look upwards so a will be here h will be here a is this h is this if this is h look back here where is this oh this one the first one so g is here c is here a and d so d is here d and a are looking in the same direction that's it one guy is left fill that in yeah you can obviously fill that in so it should go that so fast and this was with an assumption here so if i assume that e is at this end 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 e is at this end then since b is adjacent to him b has to be here because the other side is an end and i know that this is a right and this is a typical right so b is upwards and if b is upwards then a has to be the opposite direction and if a has to be opposite direction a is downward so this thing okay okay so i need a and h together this way and i also know that this group of three people and that group are different so they cannot and these are just six places so one group has to come here this is the same logic and try to think that same logic comes in here okay and i wanted this position wise so i can't put a over here uh, a over here because if I put A over here, the H will go here as per this. And then there's no GHC that I can put in. Right? I can't put an A here because then the H will come here and GHC as a packet will come here. Then where will the D go? So the only place left is A will come in here. H will come in here with this direction. If H comes, A comes in here, let me finish this. D comes in here, here. 
okay and this is that one packet of ad and this is hgc this side so this is your g and this is your c and so either this or this and if you if you notice this this is exactly the mirror image e b c g h a uh, last one and d e b c g h a last one and d look at the directions E left end, E right end, B downwards, B upwards, C unknown, G upwards, G downwards, H downwards, H upwards, A up, down, blank and this. So they are the mirror image. And if you see, now you will appreciate the use of direction 1 and direction 2. You can get the relative directions. By relative, I mean who are the ones looking in one direction? G, A and D. But is that the north or is that the south? you would not be able to tell. So if there's a question here which is talking about who is looking to the north or south, then the answer is cannot be determined. That, there's nothing here which talk, talks about an absolute direction, right? So it is only in relative terms that we can say. And in relative terms, both of these are exactly the same. It's just that the observer is changing his uh, viewpoint. That's it, right? So go back see how we build blocks how we saw linkages between the block how we kept always a, a view on how do they fit in into the whole picture and how we categorized uh, the uh, you know the direction ways how you identified which clue is the easiest one to typically start with which clue is the toughest one till the time you don't crack the toughest one things are going to be difficult. Once you crack the toughest one, things could become very, very easy.